Hello everybody, I hope you're as happy as I am. First off, because we got to a billion subs, that was pretty good, but I'll tell you what's even better. Penrith voting the way that it did on the weekend. That was, god damn, that was a relief. Thank you so much, Labor Heartland, for coming back into the fold. <laughs> We will get to the million subs at another point. I do need to just say thank you to that, but it is such a relief that we have an actual government backing New South Wales after 12 years, and even then, scraping over the line. And the only reason we did, because as you can plainly see with the press, did you see the Sydney Morning Herald a couple of days before the election coming out and endorsing Dominic Perrottet again? And their reason this time, for a fourth time in a row, this is it. Last time it was, let them finish the job. I think they acknowledged that, yeah, yeah, okay, it's all done. But this time they wanted to back him because, well, you know, he's young. It'd be a shame to get him out on his ass. Let's, it'd be nice to see where he goes. What, like you're growing a big pumpkin for the Easter show or something? This was Nine Fairfax's argument to the public. But Marge, that little guy hasn't done anything yet. Look at him. He's going to do something. And you know it's going to be good. And I'll tell you what else I'm very excited about. All these middle class seats with all these mortgage brokers and people that work at H&R Block. They seem to be breaking for the Labor Party. These places that you could not imagine even a couple of elections ago, ever turning out of blue. Your places like your Dremoines and your Mirandas, just a lot of places that I assume have La Porchetta as a main place that the kids want to go, yeah, yeah, I want to go there for my birthday. All, <laughs> all those seats seem terrible. What the hell? The Central Coast? What happened to you guys? I thought your entire identity was around the thought of we're not Bondi, but we wish we were. You guys have realised after years of trying to deny it, nah, you're scum like us. You're part of the working class and welcome to the fold. <laughs> Put Uncle Sam's face on me. We want you, terrible. We are so close to taking those back. We're talking about a few hundred votes here or there. So anybody that's always saying, oh, my vote doesn't matter. Turns out it does. Massively, even in quote unquote safe seats, they're not that safe anymore. I mean, you know, if you're in the northern beaches, you can probably take a day off, but virtually anywhere else in the state, it seems like it's just up for grabs. So, well done, New South Wales, for a, a clear majority of you guys seeing through the BS. I wish you saw through the BS of the minor parties. That'd be great, especially because if you did, we'd be looking at a majority Labor government instead of this. Happy little axolotl down here that I'm not going to get into much, but uh, why, Kayama? I just don't get it. There's so many, I'd say red flags, but there's just such little coloration around this whole event. Like, what, what is going on? Why? Is it just because it's a combination of the two things that make Kayama famous? Your Kayama ice creamery and the blowhole meshed into a man. But anyway, other than that, it was a great, great win for all the independents across the country. We, hey, we got in the weed party. That's always going to be fun. Uh, we got in Helen Dalton, massive margin. That was looking like it was going to be one of those TAB. Yeah, yeah, I kind of don't want Helen to win because I put a lot on her. Not winning. One of those seats, she smashed it. And how good would this be, guys? Wouldn't this be incredible? Labor and Helen Dalton coalition. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, she forced herself into being water minister. We're really just talking fantasy football at this point. But still, well done, Helen. Well done, all the Shooters and Fishers formers for getting back. That is great. And even the national that defected to being a liberal taking that seat off the national. Because, hey, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I'll take a liberal over a national any day. What a win for the environment, for public servants, for your money not being wasted on, um, I think we need to build another tram on top of the tram we just built. That's not gonna be happening anymore. And it definitely was gonna be happening. And could you imagine if they got another four years? 
what are you privatizing after water? Just cops, firefighters. We're just going to go back to ancient Rome. You're just going to have a private firefighting force and this little card on all of the little bushfire material being like, please swipe slower. Come on, come on. I'm kind of panicking here. Is that going to happen? It's looking like it was moving towards that. You stopped the madness. We're so happy about that. And I just have to say to everybody watching in New South Wales, especially because the feeling was so ecstatic, even in comparison to the federal one, the, the state one, there was people dancing in the street when I was walking out of Henrith. There was an ebullient atmosphere because I think that we all realize what the stakes were with letting the gangsters back in with the keys and the white seats again. I think that people were really clued in and invested in this one. And that's what I think actually got Labour over the line in the end, was your enthusiasm. It was you guys arguing with your friends and family because clearly, as this election shows, every vote counts. Should be the slogan of every New South Wales election from now on and probably not WA. I'm sure it doesn't have the same visceral feel as this one did down here. Just a great night. Also, you've got to hand it to Chris Minns. Ran a seamless, smooth campaign out there in front of the Channel 7 and Channel 9 cameras every day, waiting for him to slip up. Didn't do it once. Even down to someone screaming, do a shooey, do a shooey, Minns. Ignored it like a pro, moved on, down to business because that's his job. We just want him focusing on nurses, that's it. And he pulled that off incredibly. I mean, it is the reason that we like Helen Dalton more because she actually gunned it. Look at her, what a legend. They know how to do it down south, don't they? I mean, I wish that Chris Minns could do that, but he was obviously playing the wider game and did it well. But you also got to give it, this is something that I will say because people are always being like, if you're not completely negative about both parties all the time, you're being biased. Shut up. But here's something to, some little red meat for you, okay? Look, why'd you get rid of Adam Spur? <laughs> like he did win you that election. <laughs> We all know it. There is no way that Chris Minns could have won that. I mean, he definitely outperformed Dominic Perrottet, but you're an unknown opposition leader rocking in. There is no way that you're going against the juggernaut that is Berejiklian. There is th that bing chicken would eat you like a banana peel. She was so liked by this state. Still to this day, I still talk to family members that were saying, you didn't have to be so cruel to Gladys Berejiklian. Did you know what she did? Yeah, but she's nice, so I, I don't care. <laughs> that was the general feeling of the state. She would have got it back in for a fourth term. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, Adam Searle was a member of the Legislative Council back in the bad old days when Labor had no seats at all. And he was heading all of these measures to improve accountability across the government which eventually ended up snagging Gladys Berejiklian and a bunch, of, a bunch of other stuff that would just go unnoticed, under the radar. There'd be no way of finding it ever. He was the one that pushed through all of those measures that got the results that eventually led to this result. So anyway, like, I know that a lot of people think it's a long bow, but I personally don't. Good on you, sir. Well done, Mark Buttergeek. Mostly for this photo here, huge fan of that, but it was also a massive fan of his work in those vital Labor Heartland Western Sydney seats. And that guy worked day and night to bring them back into the fold and it paid dividends. I also did an interview with him here, so I'm sure there was also some other Labor people that were working really hard, but um, you didn't get an interview, so you don't get a special thanks. Anywho, now that we can rest easy, I mean, look at this beautiful map. I'm, as always, Tasmania has to spoil it. Why are you even part of Australia? You're just factually not. But everyone else doing a bang up job, which means that we could relax a little more and get back to the content that you all love, which is asking you about times that you were at KFC and some loose shit happened. We actually do have a lot of those videos backlogged because the last few months have been fairly hectic. So I think that you can forgive us for not having the same rigorous upload schedule that we once had, but we'll try and work our way back to that now that Australia can rest easy, knowing that um, water won't go up 600%. So that's very exciting news. On top of that, we have a bunch of other things that are big that are on the cooker. So that doesn't give you an excuse not to watch everything that we post out. Even if we decide to start doing six videos a day, okay? Deal? You're gonna watch them all with the same vigorousness? Good. Well, see you next election, I guess. Next stop, Tasmania.